back! Huh? Beef. Your guess is as good as mine. All I know is he's the reason Lyria is here in the first place. Crap! Crap! Volcano's getting ready to blow! Oh no! The ground is sinking into the magma! Can't do anything about it! Just run for your life! Don't look back! Anytime soon, right? That primal looks quite similar to Bahamut. Is that why it was able to imprison Lyria? Why is it taking a dip in the magma? Oh, the ice! It's a magma wave! Get swallowed by that, and it'll eat more than a nasty bird! Get to the cover of that outcropping! It's our only chance! That's our chance to close the gap! Wave in half? I don't know whether to be grateful or terrified. Both, I guess. Let's hide behind the rock and let the wave pass. Hey, that Why is he going that far? Could he really be trying to save Lyria? I mean, even if he does, he'll just take her away again. And we're back to square one. My thoughts exactly. Can't let him do that. It looks like they've come to an impact. Now we can join the fight. Another wave is coming! You deserve the credit. <laughs> 
this light coming from? It's clearing. I, I believe it's some kind of natural defense mechanism. What do we do now? Our attacks aren't getting through at all. That's the primeval god of dread for you. There's no control in it. I see what happened now. Are you okay? Thanks. Obvious brought Lyria to this altar and awakened the time of Buddha. But, as the manifestation of dread, it turned right around and did what it feared most. It abducted Lyria. Is that the gist of it? We might not be able to get through to the giant lake, but I know someone who can. Of course, the catalyst. We'll create an opening so you can wake Lyria up. Get ready, Vern. Wait for us to attack all at once. We will pass the torch. I'm always ready. Just give me the signal. Here goes nothing. Come on, Lyria. Wake up. the wall like it was nothing. It's like another chase is afoot. It's running scared because it knows the catalyst worked. Our next encounter will be its last. You Inside that crystal, both we and the church are an impact. Does that sound about right? Yeah. Then let's face it. If you want to take down this god, you'll need my help. All right. We'll work with you for as long as our goals are long. Sure. Let's go. Whatever. Just don't get in my way. Yeah. Let's do this. Not now, not ever. Shine as one. Ascension. Well, yeah. 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 Ye
attacks won't get through. Let's do what we did before. After we create an opening, you use the catalyst. Good. I'll be ready. No place to hide.
for the thing. Tell you what, you're forgiven for that time you sauced me. This fight is almost over. We can't make a mistake. That goes double for you, Captain. If we lose you, we lose Lyria, too. Our Captain here serves a life link with Lyria. The fate of the nation. Their lives are That's why she gave her no cure order for your cat. Or Lyria to be Having second thoughts? Maybe there's hope for you after all. Get in there and do some challenge! Coming out of its days, but I'm certain we're wearing it down. Shine is one! Gale first! Just go in the town, you guys. I'm exhausted too, but we're almost there. We've overcome so much. This molten chamber will not be our tomb! Let's stay cautious. Rain of fury. Then this is it, huh? The point of no return. It's us or the primal. Got him! How is she? <sighs> well done, everyone. Where did you come from? Huh? You can't do that! Give her back! 
hit. <laughs> oh, what a pity. Grief and misery make fools of us all. Here I see a troop of puppets flouncing about in a play with no audience. And your bond with the shaman? It's threadbare. Little more than a thin line of hope. Fear not. Entrust me with your strings, and I shall deliver salvation unto you all. I know this is much too sudden for you to comprehend. But don't struggle. Embrace it. Pitiful fool! Face your judgment! A mighty party of leaders to come greet us herself. Saved us the trouble of tracking you down. My dear, I'm not looking for a fight. I've come to install the virtue of salvation. Why don't you just grab the magic card and give us a fair fight? I'm afraid we can that black aura oh, coming yeah. off of her. Winter of your life has come! The ordeal of our pilgrimage are nearly at an end. Your crew is lovely to thank for that. Acknowledge my vision. And salvation shall come. Isn't it obvious that I am shepherding all to a transcendent future? We don't need your phony baloney philosophy. The sky bearers, we put our faith in a free sky. You will love you miracle. No fear time. The time has come to pen a new chapter in this saga. It's been a long journey, but a fruitful one. Now, to open the gates and bask in the light of paradise! Stop! What are you doing? No, we'll all be... Why must you reject salvation? Do you not see that it is the perfect course? You dare defy me to the end? I'd rather not harm you. That would not be in the shaman's best interest. So I ask, judge for yourself. The miracle of my salvation. Ah! Huh? That's dirty! Give it back! Why? This has always belonged to us. I admit, I am intrigued as to how you were able to activate the catalyst. Although... I suppose it no longer matters at this point. With the primals in my possession, I've won. She knows how to make a strong cage. My powers are useless against it. Damn it! We didn't come this far to get put in time out! There is still hope left. And now even Vulcan Bola has fallen into Lilith's hands. I can't stall any longer. 
The fate of the skies calls upon the might of your crew. Will you fight to save it? Roland, I'm not sure if I like where this is going. Yeah. Tell us what this is all about. Of course. But first, your injuries need tending to. Let's return to the ship. <sighs> the time to reveal the truth has come. Well, the floor is all yours, Roland. Thanks. First, I want you all to take a look at this. That's the beast from Tempeel. Furikin. Lilith released the primal beasts from their slumber and stole their powers. Those powers now flow within Lyria. She's essentially a living storage vessel. <laughs> the Astral Realm is Lilith's home. One way back is to restore the Forbidden Primal. Angra Mainyo. I hope I'm wrong, but she plans to feed it the other beast's powers. Just how big and nasty is this Mainyu thing? It's the primal beast of gateways, allowing all kinds of travel between any two points. Distance doesn't matter, so in theory, one could even pass through to the astral realm. Doesn't sound that evil to me if all it does is open a bunch of doors. <sighs> if only it were that innocent. The problem lies in what's needed to open a gate. You see, the gates require energy proportional to the distance between them. Now, let's pretend we want to open a gate to the Astral Realm. In this case, distance is secondary. Now we're discussing interdimensional travel. So, energy-wise... Yes, an extraordinary amount will need to be consumed. And that instantaneous consumption will trigger grave repercussions. At best, Zega Grande would be reduced to nothing in the aftershock. At worst, most of the Sky Realm would cease to exist as we know it. There's no way that's possible! Then let me tell you a story. Fifteen years ago, Lilith revived Angra Mainyu. She attempted to open the gate to the Astral Realm. Fortunately, for whatever reason, she failed in her scheme. But a number of islands weren't so lucky, and they were rendered uninhabitable. Survivors of the incident are forever cursed to live their lives with unending trauma. That's awful. You see now? She won't give up. She will utilize the power of the Four Primals, and attempt to cast open the gates once more. And the only thing waiting for us on the other side of those gates is sheer destruction. We can't allow history to repeat itself. There's something I'd like to ask about this woman, this Lilith. She's an astral, isn't she? The potency of her powers and her obsession with the Astral Realm give her away. <sighs> the Astrals. The invaders who once ruled over our skies. You are correct. Mm-hmm. Well... It takes one to know one. Huh? 
Unbelievable. I suspected as much a while back. You knew a great deal about this Skydom, things that no ordinary person should know. I'll be damned. Real live astral right under our noses. <laughs> Sorry. Can't blame a guy for being on edge. Is that... Those are obvious raptors! You're kidding! They really chased after us? They couldn't have mobilized a hunting party this quickly. Of all the times to hound us, they choose now? Well, they're here. Less talking, more blasting. For a more peaceful flight. Where did they find this route? Stars help us. It's no zip over. The stage formation! We must take this ship! They seem just as surprised as we are. It might be a coincidence. All squadrons shoot to kill! Lady Lilith has decreed these heathens to be purged for their nefarious deeds! Unfortunate timing or not. Stay alert for more. It just occurred to me. There's only one destination at the end of this flight path. Which means we're headed to the same place as these jokesters. Indeed. Let us discuss particulars after we have saved our hearts. Even we don't know when to give up. It seems conviction is a strong motivator. Well, when you got an asteroid yank in your chain. One more. Finally, that was the last of them. Looks like Obvious already making their next move. I must take action. Wait, I just want to be super sure. Are you really an astral? <laughs> you wouldn't be the first. We've met other astrals before. Loki and Mikaboshi, if those names ring a bell. They have their own particular philosophies. But you seem different from them. I know, right? It's like Fix-It Dude actually wants to be a part of the Sky Realm. Indeed. It was no act when you risked life and limb to save the people of Folka and Tempeel. I'll be honest. I once viewed Sky Dwellers as insignificant. But that all changed. Many years ago, the first friend I ever made in this world taught me a valuable lesson. They said there is strength in solidarity. Understanding can overcome adversity. Help us grow. Folka is now my home away from home. The people there are like family to me. Sadly, we experience longevity on different scales. If I were granted one wish, It'd be to stay with them forever. At the very least, I want them to be happy. I'll do anything I can as an astral to protect the populace, to protect the islands. And I'll stop Lilith, no matter the consequences I must suffer. We understand how you feel. The Sky Realm is our home, too. So you can count on us! I guess even Astros come in all kinds of different flavors. Just like Sky Dwellers. The same can be said of primal beasts. Heh. <laughs> Kinda weird having an Astral watching our backs for once. But I won't complain. Thanks, everyone. I'm sorry I haven't been up front with you all. I suppose I was acting out of cowardice. I was afraid of your reactions if you learned I was an astral. We're in this together. <laughs> Captain, thank you. Yes, 
with Roland's aid, we'll surely stop Lilith and rescue Lyria. Angramanyu's real body is in an altar beneath Seed Hollow Castle. Yikes. There's a sinister primal lurking right under that huge city? Yes. And I'm the one who sealed it down there centuries ago. But if Lilith found Angra 15 years ago, that means the seal is... Broken. When she squandered away Angra's power, she failed to capture its true form as well. I'm certain it's still in the altar somewhere, camouflaged by its gateway powers. Uh, so that's why you stayed behind in Seed Hollow, to find the damn thing. Indeed. Unfortunately, my search turned up nothing. However, the moment Lilith summons Angra's real body, that may be our chance to strike. I warn you, she and I are equally matched. But lucky for me, I've got the better team. Apia's no doubt getting closer to the castle. There's no time to lose. We'll gear up in the city and make a run for the altar. Or else these skies are done for. Tail it back to Seed Hollow before it's too late. So, we've suddenly found ourselves caught up in an astral tug of war, decades in the making. The relationship between Lilith and Roland remains unclear. But one thing is certain Roland is our greatest ally in Zega Grande. With all the good he's done here, his love for Sky Dwellers is plain as day. Together, I know we'll stop Lilith and ensure Angra Mainyu's gate stays closed. We will protect the Sky Realm. Seed Hollow is burning. Another victim in Avia's desperate mission to return to the stars. This all started because I brought Lyria to Zega Grande. And now our battle is intertwined with the fate of the Sky Realm itself. We need to get to the heart of the city and fix the damage that's been done. Whoa! Is this even the same city? No time to assess casualties, I'm afraid. Not when we know Avia will make a beeline for the castle. I suspect we'll face a... Oh, you back already? Look, you've scratched my back in the past, so I'm willing to give part with some intel, free of charge. Regarding the city, my people are out surveying the damage as we speak. Early reports suggest, strangely enough, that Avia isn't focused on taking out the commercial district. Instead, they're concentrating on one area and one area alone. The castle. Considering they've got a force of 5,000 strong, you'd think they'd try to occupy more. But here we are. In addition to the ground troops, they've got manned and unmanned aircraft to boot. Not to mention, the Silver Wolf Corps and the Sword Veil seem to be acting in concert. First time for everything, huh? To be completely honest, the whole thing makes me mad as hell. I'd like to jump into this circus and pound a few chumps myself. The city's well-being comes first. You just go smack their leader a good one for me. Got it? 
They'll all sleep better once she's out of commission. Avia is focused entirely on occupying Seed Hollow Castle. I fear Lilith is wasting no time. She's not sparing numbers either. There's a million of them swarming around. We don't need to engage with all of them. Cut off the snake's head, and you don't have to worry about the body. Are a godsend. <laughs> I go where I'm needed. Simple as that. By the way, Captain, I don't know if you've heard, but the castle is under attack by the Church of Avia. That forced each of the city's wards to declare temporary lockdowns. I'll be around until the Brouhaha settles down. Give me a holler if you need anything. We can't let Avia get away with all they've done. Take this, and go show them who's boss. Avia is armed to the teeth. You better let the number hurts to have some backup, right? Butterfly alights. And just in time. Leave your sister behind. Let me show you what my 
masters taught me. Perfect. Leave it to me. It's a great success. What you got? We buy everything. Which weapon shall I strengthen? Leave it to me. Not bad, is it? I'll unlock the power within. Come again. Nice. How pleasant. Surpass every barrier. There is no height I cannot climb. We'll enter the castle through these doors. Everyone ready?
Ready. This time, I'm coming too. We'll save Lyria. And stop Lilith once and for all. Undercroft should be just down this corridor. Man, those poor seed hollow guards. They didn't sign up for this. What's this? this area. Get out of here, or face the Silver Wolf Corps. You idiots, you got you in your tracks. Lady Lilith will reward us generously for their heads. Don't back down. We have the power of the primeval gods on our side. Primeval gods, huh? Amazing how that term persists. 600 years after I first formed Avia, Lilith and I were working on our experiment. Studying the effects of sky dweller emotions, such as faith, on primal beasts. But she twisted the convictions of the masses, reshaping them as building blocks for this paramilitaristic cult. The church finds you in defiance of Our Lady's grand message. Face your penance! Now we have to deal with full on battleship? This is not in my job description. We don't have time to repel all of them. Stopping Lilith comes first. Wait, Roland. Weren't you the one who sealed on remind you? Indeed. 500 years ago. You couldn't find a better location? For Scotty's sake, putting a primal like that under a damn metropolis. Forgive me. It was the height of the war. And I needed a place inaccessible to an astral like Lilith. So you chose an enemy stronghold. Not exactly a conventional plan, but effective nonetheless. How dare you fabricate these lies about Lady Lilith's astral origin? You will learn to stay your tongue, Tintalopus! Finally broke through him. Onward and downward. These soldiers are not to blame for Lilith's machinations. And yet they're the ones paying the ultimate price. A little debris won't stop us. Allow me. Rubble. Think you can clean an airship? What's the pay like? Shall we talk price? Quickly! The Undercroft should be close. Hey, little item. Do not play fair. We can take refuge in the cellars below. There's no way their fuselage will reach us down there. I just hope they stop firing completely. This castle's too pretty to be destroyed. It's gonna take half a miracle to bring down that carrier. So do we run, or...? <sighs> Judging from the position of this tower, terrace leading to... So the court should be close. Let's head there. Now we face the interlopers who routed Rook and his men. A Lady Lilith! Yeah! A Lady Lilith! Wow, well, guess some people can't help but play with fire. You must give them what they want, You foul interlopers! We will not let you smash in the way of our glorious mission! Oh, you must be kidding me! Even 
know what Lilith is planning to do? How dare you question our lady? She will guide you to salvation. No, no, you're wrong. She would swallow this whole skyline to see her selfish ambition fulfilled. You included just as. That's what she did 15 years ago in Dolly! You aim to prove my deceit. It will not work! You will pay for making a mockery of Lady Lilith! They would die before doubting Lilith? She has them utterly bewitched. Maybe now's not the best time for conversion. Let's save the deep brainwashing till after the fighting, shall we? You promised these Sky Dwellers salvation while ushering them toward doom. Lilith, you are a fiend. A dead end. Oh. I saw some stairs heading down back at that door, though. <sighs> Perfect. That should lead us to the terrace. Uh oh, company! In the name of the Silver Wolf Court, we will stop this blasphemy here and now. Here at those damn sword mail mages were out there. Oh, well, they haven't they come yet? General Magli out pulled them back. Said they were worn out from thousands. <laughs> Now they have more toys to harass us with. Peach, they clearly deployed the Kayu Atomic. Peach is clearly in the research phase. The multiple legs allow for maximum stability and maneuverability. Firepower and horsepower, and a sudden je ne sais quoi. We get it, Dork. How do we blow it up? Sorry. Just like you blow anything else up. So maybe we could try to salvage it? No one's hot. Huh? Stop all that death stopping me with a plasma. Fire is like growing, Roland. What's it gonna do? Don't think it's either brain. That could only be. Watch out! He's preparing to fire a huge blast! Yep, here goes! Not down, not down! Shine is one! Time of chaos! Time is one! Time of chaos! This thing is a head harder than Racker! But he doesn't move like the wind! His legs should be lightly armored compared to the core. That's not good. We won't be able to lay a finger on it while boosters are active. Focus on evasion for now. Did he up for you to say? Do you see it dashing around everywhere? This huh? bottle of Tanya Atari expends tons of energy while boosting. It shouldn't last much longer. If only we could explain it to death. Huh? Now it's on. Oh. All right. Now Try it's on. Try not to move. Got him. Yeah. Yeah. 
Did it change its weaponry? Everyone, be on guard! Lead the way! No problem! Leaders and its limbs are beginning to buckle! The pressure potential should result in... None of us need for her! What do you mean? Sorry, our assault is working! Look at it, sluggish maneuvers! One more push and we'll have it out of commission! Over here! Yeah! We beat the screws out of that robo! Well done! And what a relief we didn't completely destroy such a fine specimen! Hold on, hear that humming? I don't think we're out of the woods yet. Now we have to fight two of them? Allow me! Uh, don't mind if I recruit a little help? Its core seems undamaged. I could use it to fight off the others. Did you really just hop up on that thing? You even have a license? Where we're going, we have no need for licenses. It'll be a cinch to cover you. Why does Roland always get weirder around new machines? Yeah, I don't like that people in his eye. No, oh, come now. Why must you criticize me mid-battle? Can't we focus? Prepare our cannons. We have to get our reinforcement. How you it's our time to come online. Good night, sweet prince. 
you will be missed. More rubble, is it? Never fear. I'll have it removed post haste. What's this? There should be an entrance to the undercroft from the front of the court. Let's Not hurry. Bad. to die for. There's no better appetizer to a banquet of blood. I knew you'd be back for more. In the name of the Sword Veil Fellowship, I shan't let you take another step. Let's have a clean... Death match! I mean, that's the obvious who's strongest general. As you can see, my foolish patriot is in need of some entertainment. Together with your party, Dick, was it not? I think we've rather perfected it. Yes! Let it be told! Of the mighty Galvanza Extravaganza! Excuse me, though, what? I deserve credit, too! Wait, <laughs> 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 
the lunacy of my position to be making demands of you but please the sword veil are my family if you can find it in your heart to spare them take me i staked my life on this death match now come claim your hard-earned spoils <laughs> Look, we just want to get through here without trouble. As long as you stay out of our way, we got no reason to fight anymore, deal? There's no time to waste. <laughs> uh. 
forgive my failure, Lady Lilith. Complete and utter defeat! They might actually pull it off! of their respective arts. Why do they follow Lilith? Even great warriors may find themselves prey to hard times. Salvation, no matter how false, seems an alluring prize. And, well, some astrals have a certain charm, which can prove intoxicating to many skyfarers. They've got all the nasty tricks. But what about Lilith's son? He an astral too? Mercifully, no. He's a sky dweller, same as you. It seems we've reached a dead end. Not to worry. There's another path this way. Here we are. Would you all please stand back? Up ahead is the altar where Angra Mainyu lies sealed. Will no doubt find Lilith there already. A special ward warps time and space around Angra, making physical contact impossible. Let us hope Lilith has not breached it yet. We have only one shot at victory. I will strike the moment she calls for Angra. So when it gets its fuel, blast the engine? Yep, that'll do it. Okay, people, look alive. This one's you. I hope these potions will be enough. It's been so long. Finally, the dawning of salvation is upon us. The path will soon open. <gasps> oh. I wasn't expecting to see them again. That's enough! Lyria's coming back with us! Is that so? Id? for you to return and cast open a gate. So I can destroy Angra Mainyu! Any of this. I believe in Mother's plan. Open your eyes, man. I 
Is he... is he actually down? Let's just get to Lyria. You always were such a careless one. Get ready. <laughs> A primal beast who distorts space itself. I can't believe it overpowered Roland so easily. This fight is going to get desperate. Stay vigilant. You sky dwellers are all in leaves, and I am the winter of your discontent. My coming is your death. Even Astraeus was no match for me. I could likely blow you over with a single breath. That's it! Who's gonna let you get away with your nasty feet? Put up your suit! Turn back! Time to turn off payback! Bad the Empress killer! Lyria, burn! Stay back! Things are bound to get serious. Okay! Be careful, Catalina! Sure. I'm not much of a fighter! If I notice anything suspicious, I'll tell ya. Women in the field. Man, that's so fair! Walk through, walk see through, and then her attack stops her. I that it's here and yet it's not. That must be part of its power. Oh, like a lamb to the slaughter. So innocent. So foolish. I have to protect Lyria. I have to protect the captain. What? Oh, yeah. I just keep up. What? What? What did you do? That's our friend you just took. If only you, Sky Dwellers, had come to your senses, all of this could have been avoided. You are not worth the air you breathe. Oh, let's patch you up. Return to the void. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This can't be us. No! Keep up! Keep up! 
little bird trapped by these skies let me whisk you away on a journey aboard the ark of angra mind you Shaman's other half. <laughs> Id, explain yourself. Mother, you told me to protect Lyria. But this. Why this? This isn't what you said! Why did Lyria... Calm yourself, Id. Angra Mainyu has been revived. Thus, the shaman's role is complete. Consequently, your duty as her guardian is no longer needed. <sighs> but, Mother, please! Temper, Id. It almost sounds as if you disagree with me. My naughty child, you're no better than these interlopers. Forget about me! Focus on your link! Adversity only seems to push you towards victory. After all, you must be confident you can prance out of here as the hero. Don't be. 
Humdrum tales of heroism and gallantry have no place on my shelf. Let us finish this charade! Astraeus to leave you a parking gift. Who can what's wrong? Possibly mean to use it against Angra, mind you. <laughs> the sky dweller should not have Flash the magic reserves to wield it. you up.
primeval dragon. Child of darkness and flames. Thy name is... Seed Hollow Castle, I think. What the hell happened? It appears the Captain and Lyria restored everything back to normal. Way to go, Captain! Man, it's hard keeping up with you young bucks. Always stealing the thunder. <laughs> well done, Captain. Where's Vern? Hey! Never doubted you for a second. I totally knew you'd kick butt. I think we can safely say, all's well that ends well. <laughs> <laughs> control myself, I could still see everything that was happening. All the scary stuff I did, I was powerless to stop it. I wasn't sure if it was a dream. That wasn't you, Lyria. You all still came to save me. After what I did to everyone, to Catalina, and especially to you. It's okay now. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Try 
your tears, Lyria. You're back with us now. There's nothing to fear. repeat itself now I understand you're all influenced by the singularity but fate set in motion can't be stopped you will come to understand the depths of my unflinching resolve the astral realm awaits the fruits of my research I won't be denied Lucia! Stop. If you open the gate to the Astral Realm, this world will be destroyed. Angra was sealed for a reason. Does that mean nothing to you? Let me ask you this instead. Why do you care so much about these skies? They're so full of heartache and despair. Worries that shall be long eclipsed. By the providence of a new order. You're blind, Lilith. Blind to their kinship. Blind to their hopes and dreams. There are things in this world that mean more than power or. <laughs> no, Astraeus. All that is obvious to me. ...is that we don't see eye to eye. And you're as guilty of the same sins as the rest of these fools. <laughs> Hear my voice. Deliver us from grief and sacrifice. Fulfill my salvation! <laughs> to the astral realm. <laughs> Salvation follows at my heels. The sky will fall and the stars will ascend. Utopia is within my grasp. Seems so. Everybody, run!
is that? I don't know. It just came is out this of nowhere. The end? Hurry! Go lace up with daggers, bro. Yes, sir. How's the second district holding up? There we go. I see him! Yes. Oh no, the city fell into pieces! Hey, I think we need to tell Zothba about Roland. 